Hi, I'm Graham Manley from Ortholab, and today I'd like to show you how to correctly activate expansion screws. So here we have an upper Schwartz appliance. This one has two screws in, in the center of it. We'll just remove it from the model. And all appliances that have expansion screws come with this little adjustment key. You can see the arrows on the screws, and they are to be turned uh, in the direction of the arrow. So I'm putting the key in the little hole there, and one quarter turn is where you put it there and you move it there. That's one quarter turn. And you do that to, to both screws. That's one quarter turn. And in mixed dentition case like this, you can do it one quarter turn every five days. One quarter turn is one quarter of a millimeter. And with an appliance that has two screws in it, such as this one, uh, once you get started, once you get that, those two screws open uh, by about a millimeter, you can start opening the front screw a little bit more than the back screw, or the back screw a little bit more than the front screw, um, just to give yourself a little bit of um, versatility in where exactly you're expanding in the arch. So if the arch is quite V-shaped, um, after opening a millimeter, you can start opening more on the front screw than the back screw. This appliance is called a 3D Schwartz. And if you look at this carefully, you'll see there are three screw mechanisms in it. There's one at the front, that'll move the anteriors forward, and the two center screws behind that. Again, just moving these um, screws in the direction of the arrows. So we take the key, we put it in the little hole, and move it in the direction of the arrow. So that there is one quarter turn. And with cases like this, the front section should be activated for a month um, before you start activating the, the two screws behind that. But again, once you have activated that front section, it's just a case of putting the, uh, the key into the little hole and activate it in the direction of the arrow. So I'm activating these two posterior screws now. So I've activated each of those screws in the direction of the arrow by a quarter of a millimeter. And again, that should be done uh, in mixed dentition cases about once every five days, in permanent once every seven days. This is a fixed expander. It uh, stays in the mouth, obviously, it's cemented in. And to activate this, you're going to need a different type of key. You're going to need one of these blue swivel keys. Again, this comes with the appliance. So the patient or the parent uh, activates this by finding the little hole there, putting the blue swivel key in that little hole, and just turning it like that. So again, that's one quarter of a turn for this appliance. Finally, this fixed expander, this screw is known as a power screw. We used to use something called a super screw, but some problems with manufacture have now led us to use ex this screw exclusively, a power screw. Um, it's a fixed expander, obviously, and the way to activate it is with this special key that comes with it. It's a bit easier than the previous one that we looked at with the blue swivel key. The key just goes onto the lock nut like that, in the mouth, and it's just turned as far as you can distally. So it goes on, like that, it's locked on the nut and just turned like that. Now the difference with this appliance as compared to the previous one, let me just grab that back for you. This appliance, the power screw appliance, is activated one turn per day. Uh, that's a twelfth of a millimeter. This appliance, that's the normal Hyrex appliance, that's activated one turn per week and that's a quarter of a millimeter. So don't get confused, the super screw appliance, that's this one here, one turn per day. The standard Hyrex or RPE appliance, this one here, one turn per week. So that's all about expanders for you and activating them. If you have any questions, drop me an email, uh, ortholab at ortholab.com.au. Uh, go visit our website, ortholab.com.au. I'm Graham Manley for Ortholab.